for fly half Renee Nona gets us underway here with Queensland running from left to right and first hit up of the game goes up to the 22 metre line the scrum half Kramer leaving around but oh pass back on the inside shows and goes the hooker who started this all Kramer drifts out to the left hand side here's G Fred oh there we go Georgina Friedrichs First try scorer of the afternoon, the 13th, first touch of the day, and wears an orange ribbon in her hair, so when her, her family, her mum's watching, she can see where she is and make no mistake. G Fred's a real quiet little achiever. She's got a really great little personality. She gets in there, she does some massive hard work. So real opportunity now for New South Wales, right on the five metre mark. Cole. Chancellor. Safety there. There's the five metre line driving through. Greenhall on the right hand side. The ball is there over the try line. Is that going to be a try? It is. I think the scrums are a good indication that the Waratahs are a extremely strong force to be recognised with. Melanie Wilkes will put a hand up every day of the week. Changing. Now here she goes. Rumbling through the middle, Wilkes was ready for that one. McKenzie shows, goes McKenzie. Oh, gets folded around in two. But Manahara picks and drives a scrum half. There's another try to New South Wales. And so those just joining us and joined in commentary this afternoon by Hamilton and Duck. Out of the saga, Mackenzie, Mackenzie going through again. Oh, she's gone through like a hot knife through butter and passes off the hooker. Delamere, Delamere, she'll score her second. Well, look at this, just running against a tired Queensland front row and she had more toe than a Roman sandal. Oh, Delamere there, number two. Yeah, I think it's accurate. She does two and match. That again, that's the front row of the Waratahs <laughs> getting a few meat pies for the game, holding it down. Robinson. Oh, big contact there by Menahera. Chancellor latches on to Hamilton. Hamilton gets that ball back. Naguamo. Oh, that's another try. Nagama on the breath of half time gets New South Wales fifth try. Stand sport, what can't you do? Wong gets told to get out of there. Bird goes to McKenzie to duck, goes straight through. She goes, oh, Piper duck, she goes straight through and she'll score. She's an absolute powerhouse, Piper duck. She's got great skill set for both 15s and 7s. Hopefully, she's going to be a solid asset to the World Cup team this year later on. McKenzie. Carpani, Carpani knows one way only. McKenzie, big Looking long cutout, cutout pass. pass. Vela sees the line. Oh, oh, Vela, she'll score. But a valiant effort there by Queensland and Margot Vela. Well, Margot Vela steps off the right. Good contact there, but. Thank you. Morgan the scrum half, McKenzie, Duck, down the train tracks, Margot Vela puts on the afterburners, one to beat, Vela, she'll go all the way, Margot Vela, put down the glasses, Vela gets her second this afternoon in New South Wales. Hey there, like you said, Arabella's got some great vision. Um, she's also got the skill to deliver and capitalise on that. The ability to throw a three-woman cutout pass. Inside, ball's inside. We're into the last few seconds. Referee looks to the watch, and there we go. New South Wales Waratahs take out this final game. 46 points to nil. And Curbs, it really started in the first couple of minutes. New South Wales came out of the blocks very fast and they just never let up. Yeah, look, Waratahs today doesn't look like they took their foot off the pedal at all. They had a quick pace of the game right from the get-go. Their line speed was incredible.